to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at solving absolute value inequalities. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look at my inequality sign and this is a greater than symbol. So typically greater than symbol means this is an or problem which means I'm going to shade outward on my inequality. And remember inequalities don't have an exact one answer. Typically inequalities have a shaded region left and right or in the center between two points. And when you get those shaded regions, you can always test to check your work. So let's go ahead and start solving this one. Okay, the first thing you wanna do when you solve an inequality is you need to look at two cases. When is all this greater than um, positive four? And you've gotta look at this as, if this was positive four and positive five, what would that look like? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my inequality straight out just like it looks of the inequality and just write it without the absolute value bar. Okay, that's going to be case one. Case two, I'm going to take and think of this as what if this was like the absolute value of negative five? Well, that still would be greater than four because absolute value means I take, always take positive. So what if this is all less than or equal to negative four. So like negative five, negative six, because once I take the absolute value, remember it's gonna be positive. Okay, so I've gotta look at my two cases. So let's solve each one separately. So now let's go back and solve this one. I'm gonna add five, so a two-step equation here. So I get three X is greater than or equal to nine. So X is greater than or equal to three. Okay, and I go to this side, I solve this case. I'm gonna add five again. But this time when I add five, I've got a negative four, so this will just be one, bringing down my less than or equal to sign, and three x, then divide by three again, so I have x is less than or equal to one third. Okay, so I have two inequalities. So now let's look at that on a number line, okay? So here's my number line, and let's use zero, because it's right here, and then that means I have one, two, three. So all the x is greater than three. So what's larger than three? Well, four, five, six. So if this is three, it's going to be include three because this is greater than or equal to. So it includes three and goes to the right. So four, five, six in that shaded region. And then one third falls right here between zero and one. Okay, again, I'm going to shade a solid point because it's less than or equal to. And then I'm going to shade all the values less. Well, zero is less than one third, so it's shading this direction. And so that is my inequality on a number line. And that's how you solve an absolute value inequality.